Hi guys, Gaming Chaos 123 back with another video, and in this video I get a flawless 16 and 0 gameplay on free for all. And I really thought I was going to get a mob in this gameplay, but I didn't, unfortunately. Some guy overtook me, but it's a flawless gameplay. And yeah, you know, it's not the best, it's not the worst. I've had better gameplays, but this is just one that I recorded. So, today I'm going to be talking about the new uh, game mode called Drop Zone on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. So, Drop Zone is basically, I don't know, it's kind of a mix between Team Defender, um, Team Defender and Domination in my opinion. Domination because it's like, it's like there's a spot on the ground where the well, it changes, but there's a spot on the ground where the drop zone is. It's kind of like the flags on Domination, if you ask me, but there isn't a flag, it's just the drop zone. And it's Team Defender, because you've got to stay on there for long the longest. Like you got, and Team Defender, you've got to hold the flag for the longest to get points for your team, and you have to stay on there for the longest to get points for your team on drop zone, so that's why I think it's a bit like Team Defender. I, I don't know if you understand, but just have a think about it, and I guess you might understand. And also... I really, I don't know why I just said also. <laughs> I just, I, I, was about to, I, was, I was about to say something, but then it just kind of went out of my head. But anyway, I think it's a really good gameplay. Uh, game, not gameplay. Jeez, I think it's a really good game. The uh, like game mode. It's really fun, really action packed. And a quick tip: use blast shield because that. Uh, this is kind of common sense, I guess. But just in case you didn't know. Use blast shield, okay? Because people are just going to be bombing that drop zone. Because at the top, it is like red in in the top left corner. It'll be not in this gameplay. Cause I'm not playing drop zone. I'm playing free for all. But when you're playing drop zone, I will be getting some drop zone gameplay. Sorry, uh, I will be getting some drop drop zone gameplay soon. Uh, I just need to get a really good gameplay, and then it will be uploaded. But it's like. Okay. Oh yeah, use blast shield because people are going to be bombing that. And like, yeah, I was talking about the thing at the top. Right, so there's green and red writing. The red writing is the enemy team, and the green writing is your team. And it'll say like your team name or the enemy team name, and then it'll have a number next to it, and that's how many people are on the flag. I mean, on the drop zone. Sorry, at that time. Um. And don't call me camped in this gameplay as well, because I wasn't. I wasn't sitting in one corner. I was kind of staying throughout the building, you know. I was kind of campy, but I wasn't camping at the same time. It was like semi-camping, I guess. But yeah, and then, so say if you see, like, I don't know. Is it, um, I don't know, is it Spetsnaz in this game? Say if there is. It'll say, like, Spetsnaz, and then it'll say, like, three. And that's that means there'll be three people on the drop zone like if it it might say next to the green writing it might say next to the red writing if it's next to the red writing it just means it's the enemies on there and that means just throw a grenade on there and hope for the best basically <laughs> you know hope you get a quad or triple or whatever and a javelin or a javelin is best i reckon because you, you can get them from like eight really far away and they'll just go up and then back down on the drop zone but yeah, the javelin is um, really good, and then other other uh, rocket launchers are good. But just uh, if you want to take my advice, I'll use the javelin because it's just a beast. I got like a triple on there before, I think. Yeah, I don't know. It was like a triple, I think. I don't know. I went mad about it anyway because I'm like yeah, <laughs> triple. It's probably like a double or something. <laughs> Anyway, so that's like what a drop zone is basically. That's the whole thing. Oh, but there is a kind of catch to it. If you're like the drop zone changes places. Oh, in the top left corner as well, it tell, tells you how long that drop zone's got left. So if it's got like I don't know, ten, five, ten seconds left, go to the next spawn, the next drop zone point, because you'll uh, you'll be able. To, like if you go, to, I don't know what I'm saying. 
go to the next drop zone point because you know you'll be the first on the flag and that brings us to our next point the first person on like if there's like a new drop zone or at the start of the game the first person to that drop zone earns a care package and then if you're on there for 15 seconds you um you get a care package as well and it's amazing xp seriously i'll i'll get loads of xp on drop zone because it every second on the drop zone you get 20 xp and 20 points for your team i think i think it's 20 xp because it has like tw it has like in yellow writing plus 20 so i'm guessing it's 20 xp and that's like amazing xp and then every second in it that's like it's like 50 points a kill on drop zone so if you you know three seconds isn't more than a, a kill's worth of xp on if you stay in the drop zone but then again it is hard to stay in the drop zone so I'd really, if you haven't played it yet, go and play it because it's just amazing. And this guy, I was like worried about because I was like running out of bullets or something. I was just like, no, please. Um, oh, and that guy just got taken out. Um, but yeah, and that's really all I got to say about the drop zone. It's I've played it. I haven't played it that much because I, I don't know. I'm off school and I've been playing PlayStation a lot. Today I played Minecraft for like a couple of hours. <laughs> I don't know, I was just on a server and I was just making stuff. <laughs> and I, I downloaded a. I was trying, because I'm making a Minecraft server on when I get my new laptop, because hopefully with my Christmas and birthday money I'll have enough money to get a decent laptop, so with a good amount of RAM. So I'll be able to make a Minecraft server, and this guy, oh my god, I, I forgot that he could come through that window, I was like, no, you dare. Right, um, so yeah, I'm making a Minecraft server, it'll have to be Hamachi, because I don't know, I have to put it forward, unless I figure it out somehow, probably not. Um, yeah, that's really it. Um, I'm making a Minecraft server, yeah. And oh yeah, I was I was uh, like making a world on single player. Um, and this guy got a nice quick scope for the final kill cam. Like, but anyway, um, I was working on I was trying to get a bank where you enter a digit and then it's only for me and my friends. Um, and then I might make it like multiplayer. Uh, like I might make it for multiplayer, but. In a little, in like um, a little, little while. But it's mainly going to be for my friends, and I'm, I got like three slots: one for me, one for my, one of my friends, and then my other friend. I've got the three codes that written down right here, so I don't forget them. But I'm gonna have to wrap up this gameplay, guys. Hope you enjoyed the 16 and 0 flawless gameplay with this awesome font that I've, I got, I downloaded. Um, so yeah, please enjoy dubstep mix um and the Lois TSB advert song. It's really cool. I really like it. It's like boop, boop, boop. anyway, listen to it and you'll know. Anyway, so thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did subscribe, leave it a like I really love I love my likes. Um I really appreciate every person who likes my video and every person who subscribes every I'll oh, yeah. I might be doing some shoutouts when I get a couple more subscribers and stuff to every one of my subscriber subscribers, sorry. Um just send me a message and then I'll give you a shout out if I think your video is good. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'm gonna leave you to listen to Dubstep. Um see you guys. Bye.